Welcome everyone, in today's video we're drawing a random map to collect some more gold. This video is complementing the Explorer Challenge, linked in the card above, and all the gold is accessible in Chapter 2. First up, the easy and well-known gold bar near camp at the Lampani village. Just reach the sheriff's office on the right, and under the desk you will find a lockbox with the first gold bar. The next two gold bars can be found south of Kotora Springs in a train wreck. To access it, we will need to do some parkours down and around the hill. Arriving on the ledge, just head to the small ravine on the left. Be careful and go down slowly, as if you slip too fast, you may fall off the cliff. I talk from experience here. Next, you need to crouch and take a hard ride to go along the ledge. Be careful once again, don't walk too close to the wall as it will make you slip, and not too close to the edge, as our Captain Obvious would say, you may fall. At the end, you will need to slide down to the platform below. It's up to you to do it more or less gracefully, as long as you reach the platform. Follow it around the corner until you see that ledge on the right. You just need to climb it and follow it carefully around the corner by crouching. You will reach a step to climb. Now there's two ways to get on the second platform. By succeeding you jump and going down without damage, or failing pathetically making it to the lower platform as strong. Taking a hard ride, you will see another platform to reach out. Note that you cannot miss that jump. You have to make it on the other side. Sprint and time your jump. Once on the other side, you will be able to see the wagon. You just need to jump in it. At the bottom, you will find two gold bars. You can now exit by the opening on the side of the train. And if you feel like exploring the wreckage, you will find a treasure chest with some jewelry around. Next up, we did in a gold ingot from the Three Brothers treasure, north of Annesburg. An optional clue can be found down in the mine on the wall. North Bennett Flu, North Bennett Flu. Red Roof, Green Door, Brothers, I'll be poor no more. This will lead you not too far north to Reed Cottage, which has a red roof and a green door. Inside, you need to search the chimney for a treasure map. The map will lead us to Elysian Pool. At the top of the western bank, you will find a tree where the heads kind of mark the spot. From there, you just need to take those 20 steps north and 5 steps east. Just don't mind the bodies. And once you reach that border, on the right, a prompt should appear to inspect the road next to it and underneath, a golden rod. If you pass by Window Rod near Branit Pass, you may have seen the painting on its wall. This refers to the strange statue puzzle hidden in a cavern just north of Battery Station. To solve the puzzle, you need to count the finger of each tattoo and press the button on the one being prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, and 7. Note that one statue is missing an arm, showing only four fingers. You can find a missing hand at the back with three fingers on it. That would total seven fingers.
Once you push all the button, you should hear the finite study in the center open and reveal three door bars. The final six door bars comes from the landmarks of Rich's treasure hunt that start northwest of Owingila Lake. There you will find an obelisk. Inspect the plaque on it and retrieve the first clue. The second location is a tiny church in Lacay, north of Saint-Denis. You just need to climb on the roof and inspect the bell to get the second map. The certain map will lead you to the mysterious hill home north of Battery Station. Once again, you just need to climb on the roof and search in the broken window. The next loop will lead you to Bodger Blade. There you need to locate a tree on the small hill in the middle of the battlefield. Search the tree to find the fourth and last clue. The Sandial picture there is on the top of Mount Sean, just northwest of Trubbery. All you need to do is reach the top to the Sandial and examine the rock when the prompt appears. And here you go, six more gold bars in your satchel. You can now exchange all the gold bars at the fence at 500 bucks a piece and the in guard for 300 bucks. I hope that video has been useful. And until next time, see ya!